Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Hedera and HBAR, so let's just dive in and let's start off with this price chart from Hedera. So currently at the time that I'm recording this, we are up about 5.18% on the 24 hour span. Trading volume is up about 50%, nothing too crazy here. Um, but we definitely have been watching you know, HBAR throughout the entire summertime. Uh, we have been accumulating this range in terms of the last three months. Uh, this low range down here has been the golden area for me at least. Uh, if you check out the one year, you can definitely see why I've been accumulating this flat line down here. Uh, very similar to, you know, Casper is very similar to QNT during these flat times is where you really kind of want to start accumulating. Uh, it's very similar going all the way back to 2020 where, with these flat lines before, of course, you see it skyrocket in value um, up to some nice Heights. Now, the funny thing is, is that back here, we were trading at about like three cents or so before we ran up to about 50 some cents. Currently, we're trading at about six cents. Uh, you know, who knows where we can go next? I have been eyeing the three to six dollar range for a while. That's been my main target point. Uh, will we see it? Who knows? But there's definitely been some exciting, uh, you know, movements happening around the Hedera ecosystem. The number one has always been the NFT market. The NFT market on Hedera has been exploding recently. We're going to be talking about that. And uh, so much more. And on the seven day span here as well, you do see Hedera up about 9.71%. Like I said, in terms of Casper, Casper has been trading in a flat line formation as well. If you go check out the last one year span, look at this flat line down here from, um, you know, June all the way until just of recent, and it started to peak out a little bit. And uh, this was absolutely crazy in terms of this n nice movement up because we have been accumulating this thing so heavy. Currently, it is having a pullback. Um, if anybody did want to eye this thing, you definitely, sh you know, should be watching it closely over the next couple of days and see if we do pull back a little bit harder. But for the most part, a lot of tokens have been doing very well, and I do suspect that going forward, we will see a lot of these tokens uh, performing extremely well once we get back on, uh, you know, the road in terms of the path to the next major cycle. So everything has been looking pretty good, and like I said, in terms of the NFT market on Hedera, this thing, it, like NFTs, have been going crazy. We've been watching this like. You know, every single day we look at Zeus market and we're looking at the total volume, the 24 hour volume, the 24 hour volume on Zeus market right now is 2.8 million H bar. The total volume is 73 million H bar with over 54,000, almost 55,000 total items uh, sold. This is crazy to me. And, uh, you do see all of the major ones that are selling like crazy right now. The number one has been Hangry uh, Barboons. This thing has just launched and it just launched to outer space. 2. Point almost 5 million H bar worth in the 24 hour span. In the last 30 days, for example, this has overshadowed most of the major projects out there. Almost 3 million H bar worth in the last 30 days. This is crazy. The average price right now, 2.5K H bar. Insane. Look at this. Um, and even Golden uh, Banana Coin, which is directly tied to them, 1. almost 8 million H bar as well. That's crazy to me. And a lot of these other tokens or uh, projects as well have been doing very well. And um, it really kind of shows you just how hyped up everyone is around Hedera-based NFTs. Again, I think that this is going to really kind of spark a movement to, you know, move and transition from other major chains over to Hedera uh, for NFT projects, NFT building, development, all that kind of stuff. Remember, NFTs on Hedera are still very early. So to see this amount of growth in terms of the HBAR NFTs is very exciting because once we do see development tools, utility tools around NFTs, that's also going to ignite an NFT run on Hedera like we've never seen before. So incredible to see. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I know it's been very exciting for anybody who has been a part of the NFT journey. I know that I've been slacking on my NFT channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more things on that channel uh, very soon. I've just been doing a lot of planning been getting uh, you know a, a few team members um, you know to really kind of join me in what I want to do on that channel so I know it's gonna be a little bit of time just please be patient guys trust me I'm gonna be doing a lot more content on that channel but we do see from Zeus market record broken 2.2 million plus H bar 24 hour volume on Zeus market this was at 1054 a.m. yesterday I'm currently recording this about almost uh, like around like five in the morning right now we're sitting at about 
like 2.8 million H bars. So this thing is not slowing down at all. Things are going crazy on Hedera and it is very exciting. And we do see over here, Hedera is quickly moving up the NFT ranks, soon topping three. Shout out to H bar to the moon. Um, and then we do see on this list, right? We do see Hedera up 334%, sitting at about $138,000 worth of NFT volume in the last 24 hours. And the funny thing is, is that we're right above BNB, Avalanche, and all of these other major chains out there, right under Flow, Immutable X, Cardano, Solana, and Ethereum. And I look forward to when we are at number three with $968,000 worth of volume and soon maybe even number one with 12.5 million, you know, volume. That would be crazy to see. Um, and talking about this, I actually looked at this just to, just to kind of look at it and kind of laugh, but uh, comparing it to like BNB, you know, our market cap right now would be a 28X. It would be sitting at about $44.8 billion of market cap. The current price of HBAR would be sitting at about almost $2. How crazy is that? And uh, even ADA, right? Again, 51 cents, 702%, Solana, 46 cents, 610%, and of course, Ethereum, $6.60 at $160.7 billion market cap, 102x. I'd love to see it. It's very exciting, nonetheless, to watch Hedera kind of grow out and uh, really expand and explode recently with all of the growth on it. You know, we've been watching even the Hedera transactions. We're sitting at about 55 TPS, 28 TPS now. It's been, you know, here and there going uh, from anywhere between like 20 to 60 to 80. I even seen just the other day it's sitting at about like 400. Uh, last week we seen at 700. Um, the test net we've seen at like 8,000. I mean, things are going absolutely crazy in terms of the ecosystem. I look forward to the day where the TPS are sitting at, you know, 3,000, 6,000, 8,000, possibly even 10,000 plus. Um, and we do see, you know, Hedera sitting at number one in terms of the NFT volume. And that is a, a reality that could come very fast. I, I, I think that a lot of people are really kind of overlooking Hedera just simply because of the price action. I've always said this in the past as well, like price action, you know, doesn't know fundamentals. Price action doesn't understand the value proposition behind a lot of these projects. So to understand that and uh, kind of control your emotions, not really care about the price action so much, being able to not do that as well, if you are financially kind of, you know, well off, um, is also a key aspect around this market. That's why I always say like, don't overinvest. make sure that you are only investing what you can afford to lose because it kind of, allows you to easily separate your emotions from the game. And I, I do think that that is a big key to success around this market. Um, but we are nearing the 2.5 billion uh, transactions on Hedera too. So things are eating up. And we do see over here from uh, Solo Cize, we do see, don't know if you've noticed, but most ecosystems went dark after the bear market ensued. HBAR only got louder. We are thriving in this bear market. And yes, I have said this time and time again that you need to understand that these projects that sit here, that continuously build, make noise, and continuously grow are the ones that will be around uh, for many years. Seeing Hedera not slow down, continuously make noise, have these huge events, spreading the word, spreading the name, having you know individuals understand what makes Hedera so lucrative compared to all these other major chains, that's key to success. It, it, it's 100% key to success. And it's always exciting to see a project that you are personally invested into, uh, that you've been personally invested into as well, uh, continue to grow, continue to make noise and really kind of solidify and bring confidence to your investment. Uh, so I love to see that. And I think that it, this is a 100% truth statement. We've been seeing a lot of projects kind of just drop off and not make too much noise at all. And uh, seeing HBAR you know, make noise, not only make noise, but also make some major moves is awesome. And uh, we do see over here from the chain media, uh, we do see, okay, these projects are ready for regulations. And we do see a, a lot of the major ones, but we do see Hedera labeled here. And although, you know, you could say whatever you will about this list, in my opinion, I do believe that Hedera is 100% ready for regulations. I think that the team behind Hedera is very intelligent in the way that they do hold themselves, especially to regulations, uh, how they follow regulations, how they have plans. They've been, you know, meeting with a lot of major names. Um, MTech has been meeting with a lot of major names, even in terms of like the, you know, government bodies that they've been meeting with. So I, I really do think that Hedera has that upper hand over most of this market. And I think that going forward, we will see, you know, Hedera make a ton of noise in terms of the government area. But 
Casper's also one that has been making a ton of moves in terms of government use cases, enterprise grade use cases too. So I love Casper and Hedera equally. Uh, maybe Casper a little bit more just because it is my biggest bag, but hey, I'm not biased here at all. Um, but also, I do think that this is what's helping a lot of these major projects like Dovu build out on Hedera. We do see at Dovu, we're accelerating net zero by empowering the transparent digitization and trading of carbon at scale and at speed. We have created an end-to-end -end platform for scaling voluntarily, or sorry, voluntary carbon offsetting solutions. And we do see down here, this has enterprise adoption written all over it. And I do completely agree. I mean, like this is something very large that all of these major enterprises could utilize. Um, and I think that, you know, at the end of the day, we will see high value customers being targeted from Hedera side, but also from a lot of these projects that are building out on Hedera as well. So great to see that. And then last but not least, uh, we do see Avery Dennison uh, being, you know, uh, mentioned here as well from Hedera. Avery Dennison is bringing accountability, transparency, and traceability to the global supply chains with Amazon.io integrated into uh, Hedera to provide a secure and decentralized layer of trust for both enterprises and consumers. And uh, this is getting a lot of media attention, which I love to see. This has been getting posted almost everywhere. And I do believe that at some point in time, in terms of Avery Dennis, one, once they do go fully live with Atma.io, uh, which they have been talking about you know, for the last couple months closely, um, I think that that's going to be a big game changer around Hedera's TPS. Uh, for an example, here you guys have it. Uh, they were just talking about it on October 7th. Um, we've been focused on this closely because of how large of an innovation this actually could be and how this could ignite a major move on the Hedera mainnet. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for step function to go live where we do see, you know, thousands of TPS being transacted, um, a day, uh, or I shouldn't say a day, a second, I mean, um, and that would lead to billions of transactions a day. I think that that is going to be the time where everything kind of changes for Hedera. And we've all been waiting for this. And the day that that actually does happen, it is going to be a historical one for all the h holders out there. So with all of that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content. If you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up to you all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. If you guys are in this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.